Emirates and the A380, the most beautiful mistake in aviation history. At cruising altitude, the Airbus A380 feels less like an aircraft and more like a floating palace. Soft amber lights spill across curved walls. Water flows inside a shower, suspended seven miles above the earth. Glasses clink at a cocktail bar where gravity itself seems optional. Passengers wander, unhurried, through space that commercial aviation was never meant to offer. This is excess at 40,000 feet. This is the illusion of permanence. But beneath the polished floors and stitched leather lies a truth far less glamorous. While champagne is poured above the clouds, a quiet war is being fought on the ground. A war of cracked metal, vanishing parts, and engineers racing against time. Because the aircraft that made Emirates legendary is slowly becoming its greatest liability. This is the story of how the world's flashiest airline tied its destiny to the largest passenger jet ever built. And what happens when the world decides to move on without you? A giant is born. When Airbus launched the A380, it wasn't just unveiling an airplane. It was making a statement. Bigger airports. Bigger cities. Bigger ambition. The logic was seductively simple. If airports were congested, fly fewer planes and make them enormous. Move humanity in bulk. Turn the sky into a highway for giants. On paper, it worked. When full, the A380 was astonishingly efficient for its size. Per passenger, per mile, it could rival smaller aircraft, but that efficiency lived on a knife's edge, one that collapsed the moment seats went empty. And that was the fatal flaw. Airlines didn't want bigger. They wanted flexible. Twin-engine aircraft quietly rewrote the rules. Smaller, cheaper, far more fuel-efficient. Able to fly directly between cities without funneling passengers into mega-hubs. The industry evolved. One airline did not. Emirates goes all in for Emirates. The A380 wasn't a risk. It was destiny. Dubai was engineering itself into the crossroads of the planet a single node through which the world would pass. Europe to Asia, Africa to Oceania, east to west. To make that vision real, Emirates needed aircraft that could inhale thousands of passengers, move them with precision, and exhale them across the globe in synchronized waves. The A380 was perfect. So Emirates didn't hedge. It committed. Terminals were redesigned. Gates were rebuilt. Entire schedules were synchronized around the arrival and departure of super jumbos. Concourse A became a cathedral to scale, capable of handling dozens of double-deck aircraft simultaneously. Other airlines operated the A380. Emirates became the A380, and for a while, it was unstoppable. At slot-constrained airports like Heathrow, Emirates discovered a loophole in aviation economics. If you couldn't add flights, you simply doubled the aircraft. Revenue surged. The A380 became a cheat code, a growth engine no competitor could match. Then came the brand. Bars. Showers. Space. Spectacle. The aircraft wasn't just transportation. It was marketing at Mach 0.85. Passengers chose Emirates because of the A380. The plane itself became the product. And that was the moment the trap was set. When the world walked away. By the late 2000s, the tide had turned. Orders dried up. Airlines quietly retired their fleets. Airbus faced an impossible equation. Astronomical costs, no buyers. In 2019, the verdict was delivered. The A380 was dead. Production would end. The line would shut down. The largest passenger aircraft ever built would become an orphan. COVID-19 only accelerated the purge. Airlines used the crisis to erase the super jumbo from their balance sheets. Aircraft were parked, then scrapped, then dismantled. One airline remained. Emirates stood alone, the final steward of a dying giant. Its hub was optimized for A380 waves. Its fleet plan depended on them. Its identity was inseparable from them. There was no exit ramp. The ghost fleet problem. When an aircraft dies, the industry moves on. Suppliers shut down production. Engineers retrain. 
factories are retooled. The ecosystem evaporates. But Emirates still flies over 100 A380s. That creates a nightmare no airline ever plans for. Spare parts become relics. Expertise becomes rare. Every component failure turns into a scavenger hunt. Emirates' solution was brutal and brilliant. Cannibalization. Retired A380s were stripped for organs, engines, avionics, landing gear. Entire aircraft purchased simply to be sacrificed so others could live. The airline began doing what militaries do, stockpiling, rationing, extending life at any cost. Billions were spent, contracts signed, manufacturing pulled in-house, seat factories built in Dubai itself. Emirates wasn't just flying planes anymore, it was resurrecting an extinct supply chain by force. Cracks in the wings. Cracks in the wings. Then the metal began to speak. Wing cracks. Structural inspections. Aircraft grounded for months at a time. Regulators intervened. Airbus has reopened long silent facilities in Toulouse, not to build new aircraft, but to heal old ones. A 380 Aegis returned to their birthplace not as newborns, but as patients. Each repair took weeks. Each delay rippled through the network. Each inspection raised an unspoken question. What happens when the next problem has no fix? Flying on borrowed time. Emirates plans to fly the A380 into the late 2030s. That means aircraft older than many pilots. Engines no longer supported by innovation. Structures pushed far beyond what the market ever intended. Cabins are refreshed. Jets repainted. Everything possible is done to extract one more decade from a machine the world has already buried. It is costly. It is exhausting. And it is unprecedented. Emirates is no longer just an airline. It is the caretaker of the most ambitious commercial aircraft ever built, carrying a fleet the industry has abandoned, powered by determination, money, and sheer refusal to let go. The final paradox. The Airbus. A 380 made Emirates great. It enabled explosive growth. Defined a brand. Turned Dubai into a global hub. And now, it holds the airline hostage. Too big to replace. Too iconic to abandon. Too expensive to lose. The A380 is no longer just an airplane. It is a monument to ambition and a warning etched in aluminum. In aviation, evolution is ruthless, and even the most beautiful giants are not immune to gravity.